Welcome back. There's strength in numbers, at least they hope. Thousands of students across the country are bringing attention to issues that affect them the most, student loans and tuition rates. And a few of those students at the University of Florida joined them this afternoon. tv 20s Nico Clemens shows us whether they're being heard. We are here to show the university that we are concerned about this. We are more than Fourth year biology student Molly Vise is asking for change and support from her school administrators. Education should be free. No more debt for you and me. Education should be free. No more and by asking, she's marching along with thousands of other college students across the country. These students are demanding for three main things free education, current student debts to be canceled, and better paying jobs for campus workers. By the time I am done with graduate school, um, I will be a little over $100,000 in debt, and that is an optimistic statement. Vi says her debt will not only affect her, but her family as well. My family's taken out loans just for me, and because of our unique situation, we are actually trying to sell our house to pay off my student loan debt. Students marched all the way to the administration building to see if they could get the attention of administrators, and they did. It's certainly a conversation that we're aware of nationwide. Steve Orlando with Media Relations at UF did talk to students. He stressed to them that tuition is not set by the university, but rather by the state. I know that um, the president certainly understands their concerns about the cost of college. It's something that he, he is familiar with. And, you know, I think moving forward, um, you know, delivering that message to the president and perhaps sitting down and having a conversation about it is a good way to, to approach it. This million student march comes days after students at the University of Missouri forced their president to resign due to some alleged race related incidents on campus and just two days after fast food workers held demonstrations fighting for higher wages. Vi says she hopes people are actually listening. There's going to have to be a real change in um, our priorities in this country and it's it's going to be a long journey. A journey that may take a while before these kinds of changes are made. Nico Clemens, TV20 News.